Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I am editing this gorgeous image shot by Amanda Voller, dog photographer, using the LSP Fur Babies Photoshop Action Suite. This set contains over 65 images for a complete start to finish our dog and other animal workflow in Photoshop. Super easy to install, you just double click and it will show up here in your Actions panel. If your actions are in button mode like this, you can simply come up here um, sorry, grey mode, you can simply come up here and click button mode. You can drag it in into a nice column and they will be in one click editing order. So let's get started with this image. Um, before we go, I'm going to make sure I've got my brush selected on white, which is set to normal, 100% opacity and 25% flow. I'm going to play the image balance bass. I always like to start with this one. It will generally balance your image out in a very gentle way. Um, correcting some of the white balance, bringing up the shadows and calming the highlights. You can change the opacity of this to suit your image, so say about there. Uh, next up I'm going to warm this image up a little bit as well. I love this image of this border collie but you can see we um, where borders are very stark black and white so the white is kind of blown up and the black is kind of very dark so I'm going to come here and fix those using the black fur rescue brush. Make that a little bit smaller and I'm just going to lightly paint this in here just to rescue some of the details in the black. And I'm going to play the white fur rescue brush just to bring some of these highlights down a little bit and get some detail back in there. Okay, so now I want to uh, brighten the face, so I'm going to play the Brighten Up brush. Make that a little bit bigger to brighten up that little face. And bright eyes as well. So make this nice and small. Just painting that on there to make those eyes pop. If you paint on any way you don't want it to show, you can simply go onto a black brush. I'm going to play the Nose Kiss. This will just bring out a little more detail in that nose. Let's sharpen up as well. Just sharpen up these features. And perhaps an extra sharp eyes. This one is just for those eyes. So I'm simply just clicking and painting. So let's see so far before and after. So that's a very natural edit so far. I'm going to come here, I don't need to use this mucky pup section where we have clean up brush, inner ear swab and iron beard whiten. I might come back to these tone brushes in just a moment but for now I'm going to come down to the lattice section and I'm going to play the vibrance brush and just to bring a little bit more life to these greens and perhaps this background too. I'm going to play yellow fix just to take a little of the yellow out of here. Uh, I'm going to play painterly silk fur brush that will really soften the fur up. I'm going to paint this on uh, making sure I don't go over the eyes because I'd like them to stay really nice and sharp. So let me take this brush down. This will really make the fur pop and I'm going to use this black brush now to take it off the eye area. Coming over these ears, really strokeably soft and it gives it a real character, so before and after there. So now I'm going to work on some overlays for this um, image, so before I do, before and after. I'm going to come here down here to the diffuse finishes. These will affect the whole image. I think I'm going to go for a warm mix. Um, let's try radiant. So this is just playing now. Um, this is applying the effect to the whole image, but again, it's non-destructive. You can turn this on or off or adjust it as you like. Well, I quite like that one here. Let's try another one. Let's go for beam. 
So you can layer these up and play with the opacity. You can paint them on or off if you want to. I, I like those two both together there, I think. I'm just going to brighten up, coming back up here to the brighten up brush. And perhaps a gentle darken as well, just to come here. Let's try the gorgeous finish brush. This will really kind of pop and pout your image. So I'm just waiting for that one to play out. I think I'm going to just come over everything with this brush here. going to darken the eye down a little as well because I feel it looks a little bit hazy here. So I'm just going to come to this gentle darken brush and just darken down there. Add a little bit of darkness back in. You could try the draw attention brush. Now this one's quite cool. This will kind of darken and add contrast to the whole image and instead of the usual paint on with a white brush you'll notice the action has selected a black brush for you to paint off the effect. So I'm going to paint this off the subject. The attention contrast, let me just bring that up a little bit. And just take that off there. You'll notice there's a little bit of purple in the fur, that's called fringing. So I'm going to play the defringe brush. That can happen when you have um, quite a contrast. So I'm going to take that off there. And a little bit here too. So that's before and after with the defringe. I'm not sure if you can see much of a difference with that one, but I can on my screen. And I think I'm going to add a vignette in, so I'm going to come down by passing these other diffusers, which of course you can try them all out. I don't play the vignette, but I'm going to take this off some of the areas that I don't want to look too dark, so perhaps around here. And a contrast boost. And perhaps one last warm overlay. Warmer scene here. Okay, so I'm really happy with that edit. I'm going to turn these off so I can show you before and after. This isn't um, destructive at all until you save, which you save this as a JPEG. You can save this as a PSD with all your layers. You can switch individual layers on and off. You can paint on and off as you see fit. So they are totally adaptable. And that's using the LSP Fur Babies Photoshop Action Suite, which is over 65 actions for pet photographers. And that is available at www.lsp-actions.com.